welcome to the Indian Newsline podcast by Pranita Mahajan. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Indian Newsline podcast. We dive deep into the heart of parenting. Uh, we explore some real issues that matter to you and your family and all the parents uh, in the current age. I'm Pranita Mahajan and today we are tackling a significant topic that has become increasingly relevant in our fast-paced image conscious world. The term that is given to it is called plastic parenting. And we'll discuss what it is, uh, the impact that it has on our children and how we can shift towards a more authentic, meaningful connection with them. So let's get started. So what exactly is plastic parenting? To put it in simple words, it's basically a style of parenting that prioritizes outward appearances, social expectations over genuine emotional connections and authentic relationships with the children. Now this phenomena can manifest in various ways from pushing uh, for academic and extracurricular success to maintaining the image of a perfect family especially in the world of social media it becomes a lot more pressured for every family to keep up that image but what are the real consequences of this approach and why it might not be the right way to move forward as a family so many child psychologists uh, have done researches and they emphasize that plastic parenting uh, or the need to keep up with these images and the academic and social achievements and that expectation that comes with it for the children can create an environment where the children feel pressured to meet these expectations which lead to anxiety stress lack of authentic self expression it can also hinder the growth uh, and um, the children's self esteem their identity because children need a nurturing and a supportive environment when they come back home where they can explore their interests they can make mistakes they can learn from their experiences and they can have someone to talk about and seek guidance from but plastic parenting or having very high expectations from children can damage this process and create a lot of hindrances uh, in the growth of uh, you know their their personality creating resilience and also helping them um, or equipping giving them uh, the ability to deal with uh, a lot of challenges that might come their way so the coping mechanisms in children can get compromised because of that We have recently done a story about it and we have highlighted these dangers of plastic parenting there. So we need to basically uh focus on how this approach can have lasting effects on the child's emotional and psychological well-being. But what does it mean in let's say practical terms? How does it affect your child on a day-to-day basis? So therapists and experts uh, say that children need a loving foundation to thrive and grow. What plastic parenting does or what these high expectations do is it erodes that foundation by placing undue emphasis on performance and appearance rather than genuine authentic growth. So it is very very crucial for parents to recognize that the long term impact of this approach of course you will earn the achievements you would have all the grades going up and you would have those victories in the short term but in the long term it, that that connection with your child will be compromised and the child will never prioritize creating authentic connections with with other people in other relationships as well moving forward because these achievements will always be more valued and uh, more important for the child 
In her book Teach Your Children Well, Dr. Madeline Levine, who is a parenting expert and renowned author, has given some valuable insights and it's a very good read for all parents. I would highly recommend it because I have personally read it and got a lot of takeaways from that book. Uh, so Dr. Levine says uh, that when parents value a child's ac- accomplishments more than the child's own sense of self, it sends a very clear message that who they are is less important than what they do. This can lead to a lifelong struggle with self-worth. And Dr. Shafali, who I know everybody uh, is aware of, she's one of the leading authors in the current age. She talks a lot about parenting and she's the author of The Conscious Parent, which is a very popular book again on parenting. Great giveaways, a must read for all parents, uh, especially in today's day and age. So Dr. Shafali says that true parenting is about becoming aware of our own inner state and how that affects our children. It's about moving away from the illusion of perfection and embracing the authenticity of our relationships. And we have we have spoken earlier about authentic parenting and how we can be more involved and express and foster genuine connections uh, with our children based on trust and love in some of our earlier stories as well. Just to summarize what the experts have been saying and what that really looks like. Authentic parenting involves basically being present for your child, understanding your child's unique needs, fostering a true relationship, prioritizing emotional well-being, over social expectations and how we can do that as parents is um, rather easy because uh, it involves some basic strategies like active listening which means that you listen to your child's thoughts and feelings give them a space where they can express themselves without the fear of judgment Um, the next thing is of course encourage their individuality because some kids are good at sports some kids are good at studies some kids are good at um, you know, any any other activity, it could be drama, it could be performing arts, it could be anything. They, they could be born leaders, they could be great orators, they could be great writers. But for that to thrive and really be achieved, we need to encourage that individuality to shine through, to come through. And for the child to be comfortable and secure enough to explore the, that part of their personality. So we need to create that and encourage them to explore their interests, even if they don't align with conventional expectations, which is which is very tricky for parents to let go of. But um, yeah, it it is achievable if we set again, realistic expectations, uh, which brings me to the next point. We need to recognize that every child is different. Success comes in different forms and uh, we need to set our expectations as parents based on the child's abilities and interests rather than a social benchmark that has been set up and um, a list that has been created and the child has to tick all the boxes on that list. We as parents definitely, definitely in today's time need to prioritize quality time with the children. We need to engage in meaningful activities together. We need to work on creating that connection because we live in an era where there are too many distractions for the parents, for the children. We are living in the world of AI. We are living in metaverse. There is a lot happening around us and the attention spans are really shrinking uh, in real time. So we need to prioritize that quality time that we spend together and of course the final the last but not the least uh, strategy would be to model authenticity children always learn by example we need to model that authenticity in our own actions decision making and everyday life we have to show them that it's okay to be true to oneself and explore our own unique personalities um, even as adults and once the child sees that um, I'm sure they're going to adopt these practices 
and they could move towards a more genuine and positive approach to life and work on their own well-being so yeah as parents i would request all of you to maybe just just give it a thought today whenever you have the time and uh let's let's create an environment where all our children feel valued for who they are and not just what they can achieve um uh, not for the certificates not for the medals and the trophies but uh for the kind of human beings they are for the amount of empathy they have for the kind of visions that they can have and the dreams that they can have uh and if we can do that i think we we will be very successful as parents and as a society on that note thank you so much everyone for listening uh please do sign in and please do share your comments on on this little podcast and also please do share some um ideas uh, or any concepts that you would want us to do podcasts on in the future Thank you so much for listening. This is Pranita Mahajan signing out. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Indian Newsling podcast by Pranita Mahajan.